It's definitely gonna go there, an official release party for the album, and he coming to H-Town to show some love. And you never know, he could be stopping by the studio tonight with the Cracker Dust. I don't know that for sure, I'm just speculating. So you definitely want to check them out tonight, 6 to 9, see what goes down with that. Man, I got Hatter's Idol finalists in the building with me right now. Just so, what's up, Pimp? What it is, what it do. Oh, boy, you see that bass in this, boy. Hold on, say it again, say it again. What it is. That's what it is right there, boy. <laughs> What's yeah. been going on with you, big dog? Man, same old, just still gigging, man. Just still grinding it out, trying to get it. Man, so what, so how, how has your life changed since having a cycle? I mean, really, it, it, it changed, but not really, because, I mean, I was already singing yeah. in spots. I was already around Houston trying to get people to hear my voice and trying to see what everybody think about my style of music. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I ain't on the, ain't on the pretty boy tip or whatever. I'm yeah. just, a, I'm just a, you know, a, a black dude who, like, like to sing, you know what I mean? Grew up in a church house or whatever and okay. just... You know, just trying to see what the people was thinking. So it was like with Hatter's Ida, it was just like a another thing where, like, you know, somebody presented an opportunity for me to sing in front of a mass crowd. You know what I mean? So, and that's what I did. And I appreciated it for what it was. That's what it is, man. Coming up in the game, man, who are some people that you admire, you know, as far as singers and stuff? Man, I mean, definitely R. Kelly because of what he been through. You know what yeah. I mean? As far as everything. But, like, no matter what he been through, you still got to buy his music because he jamming. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, like, especially, like, I grew up in the church, so, like, I'm listening to, like, Kim Burrell. I mean, those kind of people are just, like, like geniuses to me as far as, you know, when it comes to, like, putting music together and running and, and doing everything, just making songs sound beautiful. So, I mean, I'm definitely like Kim Burrell, R. Kelly. I'm Karen Clark. You know what I'm saying? Like, I list Stevie Wonder, definitely. You know what I'm okay. saying? That's what's up right there. And I got to say, man, just, you know, just, you know, I got to say this. You know, a lot of people, man, they be in these, you know, these showcases and so forth. And kind of after it's over with, they kind of fade off. I've been seeing you grinding like times three ever since. Every time I look yeah. around, I see your face and nobody can forget you. You're performing, doing shows and everything, keeping your name out there. You know, I can tell you've definitely been practicing. Everybody in the streets talking about, you know, even when you was at the Gatsby on Tuesday doing your thing. Man, a lot of great feedback from that, man. So how, how has, the, like, the community uh, been treating you, you know, ever since having like I mean, well, I, I feel like, I mean, and I could be wrong, but I feel like everybody's appreciating me for what I am. You okay. know what I mean? I Like, every time I sing somewhere, it surprises me how many people know me and how many people know my name because yeah. I'm just taking advantage of somebody say, like, come sing. Like, do yeah. you want to sing? Because most of it is word of mouth. You know what That's I mean? When I'm at Miles J and at the Red Cat and then Mike Check, you know, at the Gas or whatever. So it's just like everything just, like, kind of works itself out. But I feel like they've been, you know, Feeling me, but that's my opinion. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I try to leave it up to everybody else because I dare not speak for anyone else. You that's know what, what I'm saying? Is. But I'm just trying to do me, and hopefully they'll appreciate it. And, and it, that's that's just like it is what it is. Like what you see is what you get. Like I don't come up on a gimmick or I don't come up on anything. I just come on, on what I feel like sounds good. And then hopefully they'll appreciate it because we sing and cover songs most. Yeah, that's what You know what is. I'm saying? So that's different because it's like you still got your creative side with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you sing a cover song, so you still got to lead that song to what it is, but you still can add your own flavor to it since you're not singing your own song. But hopefully it's getting to the point where I'm finna start singing my own songs. Hey, that's know? what it is. Speaking of singing your own songs, I'm going to play this Keisha Cole, and then after that I'm going to come back. You got to join Memory Lane. Yeah, definitely. All definitely. right, what we going to do, you want to check it out, brand new Just So. I'm going to play this Keisha Cole, let it go, and I'm going to come back with a new one from It's called Memory Lane. If you want to holler at him, 713-3905-979, and he will be performing tonight at the Burpo Party. It's definitely going to go yeah, there. Yeah. So ladies, you'll get to check him out in rare form. It's going down on the bike. We're going to chop it a little bit more after this.